finished my crash course in craziness half a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Crawler. So you can use Arcus too? Yeah, I was part of the trial program for Class 7. That's how I met Toa, George, and Jellica. I see. Reen. Are you all right? You're not hurt, are you? Uh, I'm fine. I just lost my balance in that tremor I hit earlier. But thank you for protecting me, just like you did back then. No, this time was different, wasn't it? I... Yeah, I pulled through. Somehow. <laughs> I'm glad. Oh. Here comes the cleanup crew. Green! Are you alright? Is your sister... Oh, good. It looks like she's okay. What happened to her? A giant suit of armor? It looks like something imbued with the magic of the Dark Ages. I can't begin to imagine what must have transpired here. Well, a tough fight you did, at least. You're all here. Ugh, good grief. <sighs> I'm so relieved you were able to find your sister and that everyone's okay. She's even more of a beauty than I'd imagined. <laughs> oh, I'd love to get some hands-on time with that door in this suit of armor. I swear, it's almost comforting how you guys never change. <laughs> but hey, what took you, Instructor? Sorry about that. Still, it looks like you guys managed to handle things just fine without me. I take it this big lug came from inside that door? Yes. I was just looking at it when suddenly... Hold on. Let's just give our report starting from the top. <laughs> oh, oh, kitty cat's in trouble. <laughs> Moving along, I'm sure by now many of you have heard about the ongoing construction of the giant building in Crossbell State. It's supposed to be even taller than the Rhineford building in Ruhr, making it the continent's first true skyscraper. The latest reports say that construction is almost complete and that it'll be unveiled at next month's trade conference. A lot of you have been writing in about it, so I'll be sure to keep you posted with all the latest. We still got our cozy sweater on. So what's on the menu for today? 
oh, the practical exam, and we're likely finding out where we're going for our next field trip. Why are we choosing a partner? Um, I guess we will choose Emma. Wait, what? You want me to fight against Laura and Fee? Why am I fighting Laura and Fee again? I mean... Am I missing something here? Why am I fighting Laura and Fee? Yeah, but only if they... Oh, I see what's happening here. This is useless and Machias all over again, isn't it? This time I can't prepare, gals! You're not gonna survive very long, just saying. Don't you dare hold back. Don't worry, I won't. When would that well Here we go. That's already a guarantee. Oh, am I already linked? Okay. We might as well start off strong. Yeah, Laura likes to have big swords. could one shot oh oh no holy shit she one shot them <laughs> she one shot <laughs> the poor Laura and Fee never got a chance Sarah Sarah that was one sided that was one sided they never got a shot I think you should say Emma, considering she just did everything. I didn't do nothing! She just... Kaboom! D -d 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 Look, in their defense, in their defense, they never got a singular turn in. That's not... It's not a matter of, oh, they didn't try hard enough. They legit did not get a turn. I, okay, I, 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 look, I understand the point here, because obviously we weren't supposed to do that, but they didn't get a turn! <laughs> oh, don't say Machias and Yusus. Wait, what? Did his plushie... The plushie is blinking! It's alive, guys! The doll is alive! I didn't know that! 
Um, Elliot, I, I, I don't mean to alarm you, but um, the thing gripping your arm is um, is uh, it's uh, blinking. Watch him see. Yeah, I know. It's my secret girlfriend. What the what the hell is happening? That that, 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 that thing is blinking. Is his blinking? No, his don't blink. What the? Reen, Reen, they never got a shot in. What could they, what what could they have done? What could? You know what? I'm gonna just say that. He did. Yes, just standing there looking pretty was very difficult. Very difficult. Yes, again, because standing there looking pretty while Emma practically did everything was, quite frankly, exhausting. I don't know what the hell y'all are talking about. I'm more worried about what the hell is happening here. Oh yeah, this uh, incestuous relationship. I never did understand why the community wanted. Or actually, the community thought it was disgusting. I my question is, why the fuck did the developers think this was acceptable? Oh, brother on sister, how scandalous! And uh, the few people who did support it would be just. You know, but they're not related by blood. No, but they were raised together. He's probably not surprised that I'm not even paying attention at what the heck has happened with you two. I'm just more mystified of why the thing on Elliot's arm is blinking and why Laura just essentially destroyed poor Laura and V. Had I known that was going to happen, I would have just waited. What did he do? Oh, for the love of. Exactly! Look, the kid had a point from the last part, and I never got to say it because I was in too much pain. But, if he doesn't feel adequate to take the, the, the Baron position, why are you guys telling him he needs to? into that whole thing even if I have read some because I'd never knew about it until it was like too late but it just why no I know Tana sent me a message last night after I ended stream but I never looked at it and I didn't respond to it till much earlier in the morning because I was in a lot of pain so I was resting last night. Well, not like the pornographic side of it, more like the fluffy stuff. But I have somehow stumbled into some, and they were, I don't know, it was not my flight of fancy. But what happened with the Twitch TOS drama? I know it has something to do with the lewd pics thing going on or something like that, but I don't know anything further than that. Four 
of luck? I didn't see where we were on the first fourth floor. Is that the reference? First trial I could see. And Awakener, not a goddamn clue. Yeah, Emma, I wonder what. Would your kitty cat know anything about that? Would you look at that? They do care. Uh, they really don't give a shit what happens now. Have they now? So, what, you're telling me pornographic stuff on Twitch is, no, is not allowed? Who's the dumbass who said, you know something? We don't have enough porn on Twitch. Let's have some more. Who's the stupid idiot who allowed that decision to go through? I was in pain. Why would I want to be watching a bunch of idiotic morons drawing porn? I just... I, I seriously questioned the person who said, You know what? This is okay. Nothing could ever bad happen with this. No, 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 no. Nothing at all. It's perfectly acceptable to let people draw nudes on Twitch. A platform that many children, or minors, if you want to exclude anyone 10 and under, actually 15 and under, actually no, I should say 12, because 13 is when they're all considered teenagers. The point of the matter is, anyone who's a minor, yeah, that's a great idea, Twitch. Let's have a platform where a bunch of minors go on to watch a bunch of stupid idiots play Fortnite. Let's, let's, let's have them come on and go, oh, what, I can look at porn, and it's okay? And they immediately go to the art category, and that's all they see. Y you're telling me no parent was going to have an issue with that? What the fuck were they thinking? Were they high? I, I, <laughs> I really do wonder if. Twitch, if this is how Twitch is going to accept its audience, I am wondering if I should perhaps go to YouTube or somewhere else, because, um, yes, I swear a lot, but why do I want to support a platform that allows people to draw pornographic images and everyone being okay with it? That's, I, look, I get it, there is a part of life in some form or another, but if this is a kid's platform, what the hell are you doing? Of course Twitch keeps it. I'm so conflicted because honestly, I would love for my viewers, I'm not saying you guys specifically, but I'm saying in the future, I would love for you guys to sub and tip me and all that. That'd be great. But... When stuff like that happens, it makes me wonder, should I just refund my viewers and just delete this channel and go somewhere else? Because what the hell is Twitch thinking? That That's just... And look, if anyone wants to clip this and send it to Twitch, and my argument is, you have, for many years, claimed you were a platform 
for everybody. Everybody includes minors. And what do minors like to get into? A lot of trouble. Your rule essentially just allowed them to look at free porn. What the hell are you thinking? I, did you think that the kid's parents wouldn't find out? Or, God forbid, that they happen to look over the kid's shoulder and they see that. You're going to tell me that you're perfectly acceptable? Accepted by the fact that a parent could sue you because their children is now watching pornographic things on your platform? I mean, seriously. Th th that's just... Something you guys should have really thought through. And this one, this one, it didn't look like you had any thought in it. That was pretty goddamn stupid. I wouldn't... And furthermore, and not just to bash on Twitch, but the idiots who did this. If you're a drawer or an artist and that's what you're doing, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yes, I get there are hentai magazines and shit out there. But why are you stupid enough to be doing that on a live stream where you know a bunch of minors could see your work? Are you not appalled by the fact that you could be, I don't know, encouraging that minor with whatever sick fantasies you've got? Yes, at one point in our lives, we all do get to that phase where, you know... Fapper's got a fap. I, I I don't know how else to say it. But Jesus H Almighty. I don't see why not. You know what? I wouldn't even bother suing them. I would just flat out remove Twitch from my child's system and I would block their account. And anytime I saw my child was on the computer. I would make sure that if they were ever on Twitch at all, I would delete their account immediately. I would not allow my tw my child to ever go back on Twitch, not to watch anything. It's one thing to go on YouTube, but to come on here where they advertise it as a kid-friendly place and you see anything but, uh, yeah, no. I wouldn't, no. Look, maybe I'm the new fun mom, but I don't want to have to explain to my child at the age of nine what the fuck sex is. Or why men have dicks and women have boobs. I, that's a little too young for me. They didn't start teaching me that crap until we were like 13. 10 to 13, because that's when most people start hitting their puberty. I'm going to be doing a lot of cutting out on this video. So anyone who's looking back on this on YouTube and they just see what my, uh, my viewers are saying, let's just say Twitch made a rather controversial call and it was, uh, very questionable. So what, he has to fill your deluded fantasy of being the head of the family because you don't accept it? Selby, for all you know, that could be the next thing that Twitch allows. Again, we have sites for that. It's called OnlyFans. Yeah, see, that's where I would become the worst mom in existence because I would take away all their gadgets when they got home. And I would not allow them to play with them, to do anything on them. And I would inform the school, I do not want my child to be on this without supervision because of these reasons. And if you can't supervise him, 
then do not give him the gadget or him, her, whatever. I would be that mom. I would be. And the reason why, again, is why the hell do I need to explain the the birds and the bees at, for to a child that would barely grasp the concept? I mean, I don't get it. Many would say I'm overreacting or, wow, that's harsh for a mom. Look, you can let your child be a hooligan if you want. Ten years from now, maybe your child will be the one stripping in the strip club. I'd rather my child have some decency and confidence in themselves, not asking me, Mom, what is this guy doing to this girl? Yeah, how are you going to explain that to your child? Oh, they're humping, darling. What's humping? Yeah, uh-huh. Have fun with that conversation. I want no part of that. And if the man I marry doesn't like it, look. I am not going to have that conversation. If you want to have that conversation, you can. But I'm not. I'm going to. I'm going to the master bedroom. I'm shutting the door and I'm locking it. And I'll shout from the other side. Have fun. You're the one who dug this grave. I don't want that conversation. I don't want to do that explanation. I don't. Nuh uh it was awkward enough when my mother and I had to talk about it. With me, with how awkward I am, can you imagine how bad this would be? Uh, yeah, that's just asking for trouble. <laughs> the point is to give your child confidence, not make them feel even weirder about what's happening. And just for references, um... The way my parents raised me is that they said, oh, you want to do this? Go right the hell ahead. And you know what's funny? That was more of a deterrent than if someone said, no, you can't do that. Because what do ch children like to do? Oh, you said I couldn't do it. Therefore, I'm going to do it just to piss you off. Whereas if you have a child that says, my mom says it's okay. I guess that means it's not that cool then, huh? Okay, I don't feel like doing it now. My mom learned from her mom, who was very strict in what she could and couldn't do. And what did she do? Everything her mother told her not to do. My mom decided, you know what? You want to smoke, you smoke. You want to do this, you do this. Do whatever. Just don't come crying to me when shit hits the fan. And you wouldn't believe me when I tell you that was a hell of a good deterrent, too. I don't know. I, the amount of things I say I would do for my child. I, I'm very protective, if you couldn't tell. Of anyone I love. My friends, family. If my animals. I want nothing but the best for them. So, yeah, I might be a little overbearing and protective. But it's for a good reason. Oh dear God, she's blushing. <laughs> <laughs> 